yesterday I drilled this out and uh, I, I saved the shavings. Actually, I didn't deliberately shave them, save them. I just didn't throw them out yet. Uh, now, 95% of the shavings, in fact, 99% of the shavings that you see are from what came out of here. A little bit is from this uh, little stick that I had in the bottom there so that when the, when the uh, drill bit went through, uh, it wouldn't uh, cause tear out in my, in my blank. Uh, I don't know if it helps, but that's the way I do it. Uh, anyway, so what I do is I, I, I move it around here until I find a little piece of uh, shavings that is obviously from the blank and uh, then I will zoom in on it to its maximum and uh, I, I can see the, the crystallization of the cactus juice, the hardened cactus juice on every single piece. I haven't found anything that I thought, hey, that looks like it wasn't uh, treated. Um, anyway, that you might be interested. Now in all likelihood I will not be pressing this blank into a pen. But I do want to see how it's going to come out. But I got a feeling there's not going to be anything special about it. Now before I go getting all noisy here, there are some other people other than myself who had uh, quite a bit to do with this boat. And uh, one of them lives in Ontario and the others are up at a place called Dory Lake where this boat actually came from. Anyway, keep that in mind. If you're interested, I'll uh, press it into a pen for you and I'll be happy to send it to you. Now here is something that may well only be interesting to me. That little kid sitting in the sand? Well, he's the guy that lives in Ontario. He's retired and has grandchildren now. Give you an idea of how long ago this was. And out at the end of the dock, well, the beginning of a dock, <laughs> that's the boat. Well, I'm going to do the rest with sandpaper. But there's not too much color there. I see a tiny little bit right there. That's kind of disappointing. But it's my own fault. I should have known I wasn't putting enough dye in the stuff. And I should have known I was putting the wrong kind of dye in the stuff. 
Anyway, we'll see what we can do here. Now I may as well confess, I normally do not jump right up to 1000 grit from 400, but I ran out of 600. That's coming next week. Now to give it a little shine, I'm just going to use the cotton polish here. That work in really good. Try not to get the bushing into it. I know I mention this every time I do this, but you can see how the cut and shine will actually remove the bushing, and if I'm not careful, I'll end up rubbing that into the uh, wood. Even though you, even though the wood is fairly permeated with the cactus juice. It will still take on a tinge of metal color. Okay. I'll just crank the RPM and buff that a bit. I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's a bit of a shine there already, and that's after just one application. I'm going to do that probably five more times, see what we get. I did it a total of five times altogether with this uh, cut and polish. And it uh, seems to do a pretty nice job. Well, let's go get it where we can get the light reflected off it and see what we got. Now it actually shines up a lot better than what you're seeing there. The, I guess I just can't get the light quite right. Anyway, that being aside, uh, yesterday I ordered another little bottle of green dye. And uh, probably be here next week and maybe we'll try this again. We'll use a stronger concentration of dye in the uh, cactus juice. Now I do know that it works really well with alumilite, so I may just end up using uh, part uh, blue goose wood and uh, alumilite rather than cactus juice. We'll just see what happens, but that's going to have to happen next week when the dye gets here. Anyway, thank you for watching. <laughs>